I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg, where I share my weight loss journey, simple plant-based recipes, and healthy lifestyle tips. Today, I'm going to share our new favorite holiday dish, which is our vegan holiday loaf. It's a really delicious loaf made with chickpeas, oats, veggies, and some spices that are really warming and delicious this time of year. I'll also share a super duper simple recipe for roasted veggies to go along with the loaf. And then you can serve it up however you like alongside rice or potatoes in any kind of configuration that you like. I'll show some serving suggestions at the end as well. This loaf is really versatile, so it's great for a holiday meal, but it's also great for sandwiches or cutting up into smaller bite-sized pieces as sort of an appetizer or a snack. I've been working on this recipe for a little while now and I'm really excited about it. So let's jump right into the recipe. So I have a KitchenAid 11 cup food processor and it pretty much fills the food processor with this recipe. So if you have a smaller one, just be cautious and perhaps do half at a time or just have the recipe completely and make it, um, it into half a loaf. And that will work out well. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees and I have this cute little silicone loaf pan which I absolutely love but if you have a typical loaf pan you can absolutely use parchment and that will work as well but I love these little silicone loaf pans. I'll have them linked underneath the video if you want to check them out. I'm starting out with three cups of oats here, and I'm just going to blitz those first to make an oat flour. It doesn't have to be completely blended and completely super, super fine. There can still be some texture in there and it will work well. I have skipped this step in the past and it just makes it harder for the food processor to process everything together. So I do recommend blitzing the oats first. Next up, I'm adding two cups of chickpeas here. We've also made this recipe using black beans and that turns out well as well. We do prefer the chickpea version, but choose your own adventure depending on what you have on hand and what your taste preferences are. Adding in one cup each of onion, mushroom, shredded carrot, about a quarter cup of celery, two cloves of garlic, one teaspoon each of steak spice and poultry seasoning. And I'm going to go ahead and process all of this together. And so I will set my food processor on high, let it run, give it a stir, give it a little mix, and then run it again. I test the mixture to see if it is really wet, in which case I would add a little bit more oats, or if it seems really dry and crumbly, I might add a little bit more liquid, so maybe just a little bit of water. So it should be consistency where it comes together and it's not crumbling apart. I hope you can see from the video here what the texture is like. I added a little bit of cross hatching with my fork. You could also sprinkle a little bit of pepper or another seasoning over the top just to maybe jazz it up a little bit, but keeping it pretty simple here, just running my fork over the top for a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to pop my loaf in the oven for one hour and that is it. While my loaf is cooking, I am prepping my Brussels sprouts and carrots, which will be my roasted veggies to go along with the loaf for tonight. I'm starting with three to four cups of halved or quartered Brussels sprouts, one cup of carrots, two teaspoons each of soy sauce and maple syrup, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a sprinkle of steak spice. You could switch up the seasonings if you prefer. We've also used rosemary or Cajun seasoning. We've really switched it up quite a bit. So just use whatever seasoning you prefer. And thankfully this cooks at the same temperature as the loaf. And this is only going to take 20 minutes in the oven. Put them in for 15 minutes take them out, flip, put them in for another five, and then both pieces of your dinner are ready to go. We love to serve this alongside potatoes. That's probably our favorite way to enjoy this. Either mashed potatoes or we've eaten it with just kind of leftover potatoes that we had steamed in the fridge. And we've also eaten this with rice too, and that has been equally delicious. We've enjoyed this with gravy, but also different sauces like 
barbecue sauce or mustard or ketchup. So choose your own adventure. I hope you really, really enjoy these recipes. Let me know in the comment section below if you give them a try or let me know what your favorite holiday recipes are. I'll also share some of my other favorite holiday recipes up in the cards and in the description box below so you can check those out. I have a lentil shepherd's pie that's really delicious. I'll share my gravy recipe there, my spinach mashed potatoes, and a few vegan desserts that are really yummy this time of year as well, some cookies and other treats. So check those out if you are looking for those types of recipes. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for clicking on it and watching through until the end. I really appreciate you watching and liking and commenting and being a part of the Plant Fit Med community. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!